that is when 2014 January 22nd I still remember my joining date for public works department because that was the day of starting my real UPSC preparation till then I was not doing anything only I was having aspiration to be a civil servant and that is when I got posting in New Delhi so as everyone knew that New Delhi is a mecca for the civil service that is the thing that everybody even in uh, South India and the, everywhere they have this so I, uh, when I got posting in New Delhi, I just accepted it, uh, okay, it, it will be fine maybe. But uh, I saw that my working hours is from morning 9 to till 6.30, I have to be in my uh, place of work. That is when one of my friend told me that there is an institute which runs you know, your newspaper coaching, uh, newspaper analysis and all other whatever you need uh, for basic things uh, in uh, Rajendra Nagar after 6.30. I was very happy, okay, there is, there exists something for me also <laughs> because uh, till 6.30 I can't leave my office so I was very happy and it runs in morning 6 o'clock also very fine, this is the time I can utilize because once I am back from the office it is very you know tough to motivate yourself and study and put in lot of hard work, you will be totally tired with lot of other things extraneous out of your preparation but luckily for me this was there. 6.30 I used to, 5.30, 630 I used to directly run off from my workplace. It used to take half an hour and um, then directly I used to land up in class. But many a times I used to be late, most of the times. But I was always for, uh, you know, forgiven and pardon was granted after answering few questions. Luckily I could answer. <laughs> I still remember actually um, the more happiness I derive is remembering those days than after the success also because that is when really you learn something in life that you know happiness in learning in life and facing challenges is <laughs> That's why I always tell you it's a golden opportunity for you to cherish throughout your life. All of us cherish our preparation days. All of us cherish the day we wrote main six and the day we went to the interview hall rather than the results came. So enjoy the every bit of preparation days. Don't think that it is a hectic thing and you have imposed yourself into some sort of you know trouble because it's not life. UP, UPSC is not a you know, complete life. Life is much beyond and much bigger in you know, its scale. Once you have this potential to do anything, life gives you a lot of opportunities. It's not end of life once you fail in this UPSC attempt. So don't make UPSC attempt itself as your life. So enjoy whatever you are doing. Learn as if you are learning for life. Don't read only for exam, read for your life, read for understanding. That is what probably helped me also. Uh, so, four hours after the class and two hours in the morning, that's all I did in my attempt which I got into IRS. That is when I started preparation in uh, Delhi. So, till night 1 o'clock, uh, till night 12 o'clock also, I used to be there and that is all what I did for gender studies preparation on that attempt. That is when 2015, uh, the, I consider that as my first attempt, though I had given one attempt earlier uh, which, in which I failed uh, prelims. In the second attempt was when I started serious preparation. That is when I learned the basics of reading Hindu newspaper as someone was telling. And the basics of you know the all our subjects, NCRTs, uh, all our uh, uh, GS preparation. Thoroughly that is the time. Uh, apart, actually I could not even revise also whatever was taught in the class. So much of uh, work and uh, balancing the preparation was a tough task. but. I think whatever I got in that attempt is only because of GS preparation, whatever happened here and my love towards Kanna literature, it saved me through that attempt. I got into Indian Revenue Service, though I got a 49 rank at that time. So thanks to sir for that, definitely GS, I didn't even read after going home. I just listened to class at that time, listened to the newspapers. I wish I had completed paper actually at that time, but uh, it gave me two more attempts later. So two more years added a lot of uh, maturity, a lot of patience, perseverance and much, made me much more grounded. So what else, like this attempt again, uh, I would like to say that uh, as Vishal said, whatever is given, it's the same for everybody, whatever exists is also the same for everybody, but how do we make use of it, that is more important. So. That is a similar feeling for me as well. Then this attempt, though I went to Bangalore after taking the oil, I thought that uh, in my uh, the second attempt in which I got into IRS, the only one thing which was you know 
uh, short was I was not writing uh, answers because of want of time I didn't do writing practice. So all that I did in this attempt was writing practice and lot of self study. Even here it has been emphasized I believe sir even in our class it was told every time that whatever uh, teaching is done, whatever is given is a 20% and the rest all is 80% is your hard work, your self study, your determination to achieve. So input is same. The white color light is same. How do you dissect into different things to suit your uh, conditions, to, to suit your circumstances? That is more important. So wish you all the best and make best use of whatever you are getting here. And all that I would like to say is uh, definitely success is not final and failure is not fatal. It's the courage to continue that matters in your life and to never give up. Have a big aspiration in your life. If not UPSC, if not this, I definitely wish a very good success in UPSC. But remember that life is much beyond this. If you are determined to achieve yourself in life, you will definitely achieve in your life. My best wishes to all of you and thanks a lot for this. It means a lot to everyone.